Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the editor that I use is Vim. And <clears throat> Vim is a very nice um, editor for various reasons. I actually made a video on it previously. But um, for most people, um, the editor that they choose is Vim. But a lot of people don't know about a editor, another editor that's based off of Vim called NeoVim. And what NeoVim is, is it's basically a sort of newer sort of um, in development Vim that adds a lot new, a lot more features and a lot of cool and neat things. Um, and of course, I, I use NeoVim because um, I use a lot, um, all the features that NeoVim has, the, has to offer. Although it's, although it's not quite in version 1.0 yet, it's still a very good piece of software and I'm going to go ahead and compare and contrast a few things between Vim and NeoVim. So the first thing that I guess kind of stands out, one second, there we go, um, is Vim is more so a stable sort of um, st stable sort of editor, and NeoVim is more so ro rolling a ro release. You can kind of compare the, uh, compare it and contrast it with um, Debian would be sort of Vim. It's stable and only makes releases when it um, with features that um, sort of have a use, whereas NeoVim is not afraid to add new things and add more, I guess, game-changing things to uh, its editor. Another big difference between Vim and NeoVim is that NeoVim has support for Lua, or I guess first-class support for Lua, instead of uh, VimScript, because in my opinion, VimScript is not a good language for, um, I guess, scripting in uh, Vim. I think Lua is a much better language and is a lot easier to use. So that's another big difference. Although Vim does now now does have Vim 9 script, which is I think has some pretty good improvements. Um, but I think um, it still has some of the faults of Vim. And then of course, I think oh yes, uh, NeoVim also has some things that will never get added to Vim, for example, LSP, um, built-in LSP support, which is um, has to do with like, things like code completion and uh, language support for certain uh, programming languages. Um, also, one a lot of things that NeoVim adds uh, eventually get, gets added to Vim. For example, uh, one thing, one very popular thing that was added to NeoVim was terminal support. So if I type in terminal, you're able to actually run a terminal inside of NeoVim, which is actually pretty nice. Um, go ahead and quit out of this. There we go. Um, so that's a pretty nice thing, although that was eventually added to Vim. And that's really what happens to a lot of these things with NeoVim, is that they eventually, at some point, if they're, you know, if they really want to get added to Vim, they get added to Vim. Um, NeoVim is also easier to embed and has like it has better UI support. You can you can read the entire page if you want to. It also has things like better defaults and better things in general. It's also a bit more performance than Vim, <laughs> although for a text editor that doesn't really matter that much. But one of the other things is when it comes to contributing to Vim, basically most, if not all, the contributions are by the creator, Bram. Whereas NeoVim, um, the most of the contributions are um, from various other people. So the commits are actually a lot spread out, a lot more spread out between people. Uh, in fact, Bram actually does um, submit some of the co uh, some commits to NeoVim, which I find pretty funny. But when it comes to uh, choosing between the two, honestly, unless you really need or want the features of NeoVim, or you want, like, like I said, the, um, the Luba support, the really good Luba support, or the LSP support, or any other, any other of the features that NeoVim has that Vim doesn't ha doesn't have, I'd recommend using NeoVim. But unless you're just using the text editor just to edit text and not mess with any of those deeper features, I would just recommend using normal Vim. So it's really up to you. But that's basically most of the differences between them. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys whenever.